I think the best part about enjoying a Sunday brunch is the sheer variety in which you get to indulge. Welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I'm here at Fairfield by Marriott, a five-star hotel in Mumbai to enjoy a five-star Sunday brunch. This is actually my first time in this hotel. I'm really, really excited. So let's already head up and see the spread and all the variety that it's got today. The vibe of this brunch is just so chilled out. There's live music playing in the background. Probably you guys can hear a little bit. And the spread is quite big, but it's not like overwhelmingly massive. So here is the beginning to an amazing Sunday brunch. Very few things are as enjoyable for me as much as chart, whether it's street side or it's a five star brunch. When here there is so much and what I like is that along with chart, there's also some farsan. So I'm just going to be keeping this down and helping myself to a plate full of my favorite dokla and kanji. Let's go enjoy this. When there's pani puri on the table, obviously I'm going to start with pani puri. The pani is chilled, just what this summer day needs. That flavor of mint, the right amount of sweet chutney. I'm having a blast. I'm actually in Mumbai after a really long time. That you know that typical Mumbai wala chaat is something that I'm missing. Pudine wala pani, bhel puri, methi chutney. I don't know why in the north they don't put methi chutney in things, but I love it. The only thing missing on this platter is jalebi. If they don't have a live jalebi counter already, they should probably have it on the next Sunday brunch. Hanvi layers are slightly thicker, but the taste is definitely there. Honestly, I've just been like eating one one bite because the taste of everything is really good. There's more chaat. There's bhel puri, there's sev puri and there's papri chaat. I think this is the dahi papri chaat. I can't see the dahi, but somewhere there. Look at the amount of farsan on top. Trying the bhel, proper Mumbai roadside style with the papri and everything. Yum. What do you guys like? Sev puri, dahi puri or bhel puri? Somehow I'm always stuck between sev puri and bhel puri, but I think it tend to gravitate a bit more towards safe food. I came to this counter earlier and it was crowded as hell. So this is the dim sum station. This is part of their live uh, counters and there's a vegetarian option and a non-vegetarian option. They actually serve it with sauces and this is my plate of dim sums. If there's one thing that I don't miss about eating dim sums, it is chopsticks. I just feel like a fork is so much better. I love the flavor. Skin is a tad bit dry, but I think if I get one from like a super fresh batch, it'll be fine. But the filling inside is just so good. It's bits of vegetables. Carrot, cabbage, spring onions, French beans, which are so beautifully crunchy. Like a lingering, I don't know, vinegary kind of flavor, but it's yum. Next thing that I'm going for is a plate full of salad, but what really needs some attention is their hummus. So I actually went back for more. They have a lot of different kinds of hummus and dips. This is like the whole spread, the entire section. There is tabbouleh, there's pesto hummus, there's labne, beetroot hummus, tzatziki and of course regular hummus. And I really enjoyed their baba ganoush earlier. So I'm taking a little bit more of that. And of course there's like lavash and pita and stuff. I'm gonna take some more of the regular hummus and some tzatziki. Tzatziki is made with cucumber and in this weather it's all that I want. So along with hummus and stuff this part also has the vegetarian salads and there again there's a lot of variety. There's a paneer and pineapple salad, a mixed veggie salad. There's also an entire section dedicated to non-vegetarian salads. In the non-vegetarian salads there are different kinds of meat that you can find. There's mutton, chicken, fish, there's cold cuts, cheese and crackers of course and there's also a shrimp salad which is very beautifully presented. Some more very interesting looking salads. So there's the one with the sprouts, then there's one with the corn. There were also sliders here and there's also some juice. This is an entire section dedicated to breads, muffins and cakes. There are a lot of other like finger food kind of items as well. There's potato cheese shorts, there's veg tarts and then there's a few more options in fish and chicken as well. 
watermelon and something. I don't know. I can't put a finger to it, but it's really refreshing. It's very light. Let's try the corn salad. It's boiled corn or steamed corn with a little bit of cucumbers, tomato, and onion. Very desi style with a little bit of masala and lime. I'm enjoying this. This is horse wrap. Nice. This part here is where they have kati rolls. They just heat it up really nicely and give it to you. There's vegetarian in that. I think there's paneer and then there's non-vegetarian as well. So this is the kati roll and the outside is like a proper maida paratha and inside is paneer with all kinds of spices and onion and probably bell peppers. Mmm, extremely greasy but so good. Why does everything yummy have to be this greasy? I have no clue. Another counter that I absolutely love at brunches and buffets is the live pasta counter. I don't know what is it about this way of making pasta. I feel like it tastes a lot different than when you have authentic Italian style pasta at a restaurant. Also, I feel like they alter it a little bit more to suit the Indian taste buds. I opted for pink sauce pasta with veggies. Yum. The red sauce is a little bit too tangy for me, but the creaminess from the white sauce so good. where the vegetarian main course begins this is soup equivalent vegetable borscht then we have dal makhani and dal lesuni two different kinds of dal then we have plain rice and a pulao with lots of pomegranate on top then we have a tri colored pepper rice and some burnt garlic noodles some more in asian vegetables in spring pepper sauce and then there's fusilli in coriander and paprika sauce behind there you can see the live roti and naan station you can order here and they bring it to your table or order directly on your table in sabzis there's bharwa bengan then there's sab hyderabadi there's dum alu banarasi and paneer butter masala this part here is the non vegetarian section and i'm going to let you guys take a look Somehow, when it comes to main course at brunches and buffets, my body I feel like just shuts down because I've indulged so much in the appetizers, and also I'm saving as much space as I can for the dessert. But I've taken a little something, so I have dal makhani, I have paneer, then I have the Asian noodles and gravy. I'm also trying the pasta and the pulao. I feel like in a buffet there is something for everybody. From so many different dishes, you're bound to like at least one or two items minimum. Here also, if you don't like like a traditional main In course, you can have pasta, or you can indulge in some more of salads or some more of appetizers to fill your tummy and to make the most of the price that you're paying for this brunch. Trying the dal makhani with this pulao. This pulao is like a super rich one. There are raisins in it, cashews, and it's got the least amount of veggies that are seen in a pulao, and probably more pomegranate seeds than. even the he rice the noodles and the gravy is exceptional i honestly don't know at this point if you guys can hear me or no because the buzz behind me is real the live music has gone up the number of people have gone up and the brunch is at its fullest so i'm going to enjoy this and see you guys probably for dessert All right now it's the moment that I've been waiting for hitting that dessert section and I'm just going to fill up my plate really nicely and share with you guys what I'm about to have So this is my dessert plate and I have taken a lot of my usual things couple of like new things as well firstly I'm trying the pista thandai so this is not like a drinking wala thandai this is a scooping wala thandai thandai moves almost very fluffy very creamy has a hint of the thandai flavor but I can definitely feel more pista now having a bit of this I think this was a berry something or a grape something I don't remember mm I love tarty dessert this is just that the compote is so good probably berries maybe blueberry wow i'm having all of my newer things first and then going for my usual brownie and chocolate this is the walnut honey tart it's got a lot going on this part is actually overly sweet and the walnut and the tart is not as sweet and that's actually helping tone down the whole overload of sweetness let's try the brownie it's like a proper molten brownie and i like it way more than the dry brownie chunks it's like mud pie it's so good try the chocolate pastry 
dark chocolate. I think this is my most favorite. I'm so glad I took two pieces. I have one last dessert to enjoy, which is the gulab jamun. So I'm gonna be doing that. But before that, let me give you guys all of the important details of this brunch. So this is a Sunday brunch. Happens every Sunday, but on weekdays, which is from Monday to Saturday, they do have a regular lunch and dinner buffet. And you can check out the prices given on the screen and in the description box below. This is an unlimited brunch. They also have some special theme-based brunches on special days, occasions, or some Sundays. So you can call them and check them out before you're actually making a reservation. What I like is that the spread is huge, but not so huge that one will get overwhelmed with like what I should or should not eat. You can very easily try a little bit of so many different things here, and I'm sure there's something that you will enjoy. I personally really enjoyed the chart, the dessert section. I think for the first time in a really long time, I have liked literally all the desserts that I tried from the display. Also, the display is really simple but yet very very appetizing. I also enjoyed the salad, the hummus section, and the main course was also good. The Asian noodles really really did it for me. So I'm gonna go back to enjoying my gulab jamun, and I hope you guys like this video. If you did, then you know what you have to do: hit that like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.